everyone, welcome back to a new video with me. So for today's video, I am filming a grooming routine. So I'm going to show you guys everything I do with Luna before I ride, how I groom her, and how I get her ready to ride. So let's go to the stables. See you guys there. Another thing I wanted to share with you guys really quickly before I get into this video is this little guy over here. He doesn't have a name yet. He's a little kitten one of my friends found and rescued and we're currently looking for a home for him. He is the sweetest little guy ever. And as you guys can see, he currently lives in an empty stall at our barn and me and my friend, we take care of him until we find him a better home. So every time I get to the barn before I see Luna, I feed him, give him some water, and play with him a bit. Alright, so now let's get into the actual video on how I groom Luna. So step one, you need a horse. Step two, you need a grooming kit with all your brushes and utensils. The blue grooming kit is actually my old grooming box, and then the silver one, the one that Luna is currently checking out, that's my new grooming kit. I'm still actually using both just because I haven't put all my brushes into the new one yet and yeah, I'm kind of lazy. And then you also need a halter to catch your horse. And oh, okay, over here Luna almost killed my camera. So next step is put your halter on your horse so you can tie up your horse while you groom it. And then yeah, tie up your horse, which Luna is demonstrating over here. So this is a before video. I mean, she's not super dirty, but her tail, oh my god. So I like to braid it overnight just to stop all the shaving from getting stuck in her tail because she always sleeps and rolls in her stall and then her tail looks like an absolute mess. Before I start grooming her, let me just show you guys my grooming box. This is just a quick overview. I'm going to make a more detailed and updated video very soon, I promise. But the first thing I always start with is her hooves. This is just a very basic hoof pick which I've had for like four years maybe but it does the job. I'm sure most of you guys know how to pick out hooves. Um, just wanted to remind you this is not a tutorial on like how to groom horses. This is just how I groom Luna and I know there's a lot of people who do things differently especially in the horse world which is why I'm just putting it out there. I'm not a professional in any way. So this is just how I do it. So I always start with her front legs and then work my way back to her hind legs. Luna is actually barefoot in the back and she wears like therapeutic shoes in the front just to help heal her injury. So the first brush I always start with is a rubber curry comb. This one is from Animalon and what I do is I go in circular motions along her like fat parts. <laughs> so like along her belly, neck, her bum, you don't want to go over her legs and like her withers and those bony parts with a curry comb and you do these circular motions just to bring out all the loose hair and general dirt up towards the surface and then it's really easy to take a body brush and just brush away all the dirt and the loose hair. And I also just want to mention how important grooming your horse properly is. First of all, it's a great way to bond with your horse. Second of all, I mean, it makes your horse look good. It's just good for their hygiene. And third of all, it's a great way to check for injuries or to see if there's any cuts along your horse's coat. And it also improves their blood circulation. So that's always good. So groom your horse as well, guys. <laughs> I have a little hack for you guys. Something I always do after I'm done using a brush, I like rub them against each other to just get rid of the hair. And this keeps your brushes clean for so much longer. Next up, I use this body brush, also from Animalon. And this brush is a lot softer than the curry comb and the dandy brush, which I used before. And this is great for the horse's legs, since horse's legs are really sensitive and you need to be really careful when brushing over your legs. You don't want to do that with a hard brush or with pressing too hard. And then I just like to go over the, her full body again because I feel like this brush just really gives her some nice shine. 
and just gets rid of all the last loose hair. Usually Luna's quite sensitive around her legs, but this brush she absolutely loves. And then sometimes, I don't do this all the time, but I will go over her one more time using my magic brush. This brush is so great for picking up like all the extra hair. Like this brush, if your horse like sheds and gets rid of their winter coat for example, like this brush picks up everything. It's, it's really good. But as I said, I don't do this every time, but sometimes I go over her girth area just one more time before I put her saddle on. Another thing I want to introduce you guys to are these grooming gloves, also from Animalon. I honestly don't even really use them for grooming, even though they're supposed to remove all the extra loose hair. What I use them for is to massage Luna and just kind of to relax her after I'm done grooming. Just because she loves it, like if you have a look at her face, she loves being scratched with those. She really enjoys it and it's just another way that I like to bond with her and just to reward her. So this next little brush over here is one of my favorites. It's a goat hair face brush and it's also from Animalon and Luna, as you can see, she loves getting her face brushed. She absolutely loves it. It's so funny. It almost looks like she's falling asleep when I brush her with it. Uh, I usually go over her whole face, her cheeks, her nose, her eyes. Like With this brush, it's so, so soft. It's fine to go over the whole face. The next brush I'm going to use is this really ugly mane and tail brush. Um, I've had it for a few years, as you can see. Um, I usually start off by doing her forelock. And once again, Luna really likes getting her mane done. Uh, I just brush through the whole mane starting from the top and working myself to the bottom and you don't want to do it too hard just because it takes horses quite long to grow back mane or tail. And then after I'm done with the mane, I move on to her tail. I open up the braid that I've done the night before. I always braid her tail the night before just to keep it nice and to make sure not a lot of shavings get stuck in it when she rolls. So I undo her tail and then I just brush through it with my fingers to get rid of like the simple knots and I usually always put like a mane and tail shoshin and shining spray the night before so it like has time to absorb when I open it the next morning and then I like brush through it quite lightly. And as you see, Luna's tail is really nice. I'm really proud of it. It's always nice and white and shiny from the shoshin that I put in it. I don't brush her tail every day just because it's not as necessary as the mane. And I usually wash it with shampoo around once a week just because it's usually not that bad. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much all I do with her tail. And I am really proud of how it looks. I swear her tail looks a lot better than my own hair. And then last but not least, I put on some hoof oil or hoof grease on her hooves. I really like using blue hoof grease. I feel like it stays on really long and it just gives an extra shine to the hooves. It's also great for nourishing your horse's hooves. And I think it's really important to make sure to always put on hoof grease just to make sure the hoof is not um, cracking or dehydrated. I also find it super satisfying to put on hoof grease just because I love seeing how nice and shiny her hooves get. It's kind of like painting. And then the last thing I put on is some Ultra Shield Fly Spray, which is super important, especially in the summer. And Luna is sensitive and hates flies. And yeah, this is it. Here you have it, a fully groomed and luscious looking horse. This is all I do with Luna. It's really simple and basic. And yeah, this is it. Stay tuned for a part two where I will show you guys how I tack up Luna. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comments if you have any requests or suggestions. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon. Bye!